so yeah he threw up everywhere I was really upset I was like trying not to cry I was definitely on the verge of, of extreme disappointment <laughs> just got back from South Dakota. That was quite the trip. I've already had to change because poor little Tut threw up everywhere on the plane, like all over me. I had just pulled him out of the case because I hold him when we're on the plane so that he doesn't feel freaked out because the plane has a lot of weird noises. And the first time there, everything was fine, but I think I was able to give him a little bit more cat meow marijuana than I did on the way back. So I think that really stressed him out and so yeah, he threw up everywhere. I had to go into those tiny little airplane bathrooms and try to clean myself off. It was, yeah. But I got some bad news while I was in South Dakota. Nothing like terrible like that, but I did not get the JET program. Oh no! I found out while I was in the Empire Mall, which is Sioux Falls' mall, and I was looking at my email, and I saw that I had gotten an email from them, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to look, I mean, oh, and I'm like, preparing us to move, and like, thinking about all the things we need to do, and then I open it up, and it's like, we have decided to consider other options, or whatever they said, it was something to that effect, and I was like, oh. Crushed. I was really upset. I was like trying not to cry. I was definitely on the verge of extreme disappointment in public, but I didn't. I held it all together and I still haven't like had any sort of breakdown about it. What sucks is that you're constantly thinking like, well, why didn't they pick me? Why wouldn't, I mean, I've seen the people that they pick and I feel like I'm just as good as people who have gotten in the program. I feel like my qualifications are good. I have two degrees. I had help from a former jet writing my my statement of purpose and they were really really knowledgeable about what they were talking about as far as what needed to be in there and so everything races through your head like why didn't I get it what was wrong with my this this and this is it is it is it this is it this like you just would like to know an answer and they don't give you an answer they don't tell you they don't say like this is why or I don't know we don't like your name or something you know and it could be anything and so there's a lot of speculation as to what it could have been and so big question does that mean we're moving or does that mean we're not moving and the pessimistic side of me says we're not moving and it really sucks because that that's like reality coming in and kicking me in the balls or something like that however the jet program is not the only program it is not the only ALT, it's not the only option. And so where do we go from here is we we will apply to other things. So I will apply to other teaching positions. We have not exhausted all of our resources at all. The only thing that I really liked about the JET program is the kind of coverage that you get. You are paid through the holidays. So the salary that they're giving you is what you're getting year-round. It's the actual salary versus some of the other companies don't pay you for the time that you have off. Also, I liked that it just seemed to be like the most reputable company as well because it is government funded. They have a lot more rules and regulations that you have to go through. If you're placed in a rural area, a lot of times it's subsidized. We will be able to We'll be able to keep our options open. Obviously, we won't be moving in July unless there's some kind of amazing opportunity that presents itself. So if you guys know of anything, let us know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that was it was kind of like one of those like huge bummer moments. I was just like, why? I'm trying to be positive about it and I'm trying to think, well, that just means it wasn't meant to be like that and part of me was like maybe this is a sign that you're just not supposed to go but then part of me was like look it doesn't always work out the first time it just means you have to try harder on other things but if you do have any suggestions or if you know of any websites or anything um we've we've used guy gene pot and then a couple of you guys have sent over some other things which is thank you so much for doing that i really appreciate it yeah so if you if you have any other ideas or anything like that that'd be super helpful and definitely appreciated so i'm gonna have some more vlogs on my trip back home but just to kind of wrap this one up i wanted to go over some of the gifts i got from my folks just two of them are like extra special because my dad made them and then one of them is just really cool and funny kind of interesting that 
my mom got me. First off, this is the one my mom got me. This, I don't know if you guys can see it. It looks like a hairball of some sort, but it's actually alpaca on this soap ball, which is really cool because basically what you do is you stick it in the water and it suds itself up and then you use this, the wool, as like your scrubbing stuff. So you're like, shh, 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 shh. this smells so good. It smells amazing. I love it. And then my boyfriend got this from my dad. It's a back scratcher like that. So you go like this. Oh, actually that feels really good. Oh my gosh. I'll be here for a while. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. And then it's also a shoehorn, which is super cool. My dad is a wood carver. I'll link his website down below. He's amazing at what he does with Wood. I almost hit my eyeball. And then he put this quote in here that says, Ah, but a man's reach should exceed his grasp, or what's a heaven for? That's so cool. I love it. That's so neat. And then, for me, so we're Norwegian, and as you will either see in this video or the next one, I, I'm not sure of like how I'm gonna edit everything, but we have this thing called lefse, which is essentially a potato pancake, and they used a lefse stick. Look at how beautiful that is. He carved this really nice ornate whoop, ornate handle and this is traditional Norwegian leaf carving. And then, I don't think you can see it, but my dad's signature here. And then on here, the quote is in Norwegian. And so it says, Ma lepsa ver god og erter ver tre. I'm probably saying that so badly, but it basically means May your lefse be good and your heart be true. Oh, isn't that sweet? Ah, I love it. My sister actually got one a few years ago, I think, and I was like, oh, that's really nice. But I've got a lot of carvings from my dad, so I can't complain. One of the clips, you'll see a rocking horse. That is my rocking horse. It's kind of amazing. And then he does, he carves ornaments. Both my sister and I have like a set of ornaments. She has this huge eagle that he carved that's amazing. So it's, this, it's very like, I really love this gift. I think it's so special and so that's really nice yeah oh and in case you were wondering tutter butter is doing fine he got home and was like yes sanctuary this is my place i know this place this is my home and he just drank a bunch of water and then i just had to give him a bath because he had puked all down his front poor guy most of it was on me so it wasn't really in his carrying case it was just on him i felt so bad for him the poor guy i think he gets motion sickness so it was kind of torture but he also gets separation anxiety so it was like i don't know which is the lesser evil for him Blech. but anyway the next bunch of my vlogs are going to be in south dakota and then i'll pop up a japan video everything should pretty much be going back to regular schedule after um soon thank you guys so much for all of your support regarding the jet program i really appreciate that but i'm really excited to see what the future brings and thank you so much and i'll see you guys on the next vlog okay bye